Hello friends, I'm Parwes and this is our first video in making a CRUD web application and Python language using Flask framework. Uh, basically this is our first video and in the first video I'm going to uh, I'm going to have a simple introduction to Flask framework uh, and also we will have our first web page in Flask uh, uh, and also uh, I will mention that uh, this is not a more complex uh, crowd web application uh, because I don't want that it should be complex and I want that these videos should be for beginners and if you're a beginner uh, then there is no problem uh, you can uh, watch these videos and learn something uh, before uh, introducing a flask framework and making our uh, first web page uh, let me uh, show you that what we are going to make in this series of videos. Uh, this is the sample application that uh, we are uh, web application that we are going to make. Uh, also, I'm using uh, MySQL database WAM server. Uh, this is my database. Mm. Now, let me show the functionality of this uh, CRUD web application. Uh, for example, I want to add a student. Uh, you can see that now I have a uh, 15 student in here. Let me add student data. Mm, let me add uh, Tom. Also, you can add uh, email tom at gmail.com. <coughs> also, give a phone number. I'm going to give a random phone number. Uh, now, let me insert this. You can see now data inserted successfully. Uh, also, we will. Uh, I will show you that how you can make this uh, flash message in Flask framework. This is so uh, useful, and you can see that now I have uh, another uh, mm, row uh, inserted at name of Tom. Uh, let me add another one. For example, some random name like this, and let me add an email address for this. Let me add a phone number and insert data. You can see now data inserted successfully, and I have a new uh, a new row in here. Uh, now let me uh, show you in my database, and you can see now I have uh, uh, 15. Let me refresh this. Okay, now I have uh, Tom, and also this uh, the last name that we have added. Uh, now this was at. Uh, also, you can see that uh, this flash message. You can close this. Uh, for example, if you want to delete uh, uh, a name from here, uh, let me, I want to delete this. Uh, you can click on delete. Uh, you can see, are you sure for delete? And you can click OK. Now that your record has been deleted successfully, and we don't have the 90, 19. Let me... Uh, I refresh my WAM server. You can see now I have 18. Let me remove this uh, 18. And uh, first of all, let me. Yeah, now I'm going to remove this. Okay, yeah, records has been deleted successfully. And now we don't have the 18. Let me check my database. Yeah. Now we don't have. And also, if you want to update uh, a record, uh, for example, you want to update this uh, uh, John, you can click on Edit. Uh, you can change this to John Doe. And also, you can change the email to uh, John Doe at gmail.com. Also, you can give, uh, for example, 9999 phone number. Click on Update. You can see data updated successfully. And now, if you check this, John Doe, John Doe at gmail.com, and 999, the phone number. Now, let me check my database. Yeah, now uh, the database is updated. John Doe, John Doe at gmail.com, and 999. For example, you want to uh, uh, update this. Uh, let me make this uh, Tom. Logan, uh, change the email to tom at gmail.com, and also you can give a random phone number. 
let me give a one 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 yeah now if I click on this data updated successfully now if I check this you can see now I have uh, this name in here and if I refresh my database uh, now the record has been updated uh, this is the application that we are going to make uh, I have mentioned before that uh, this will not be more complex because I want this uh, video should be for beginners uh, now what you need for these series of videos the first thing you need uh, Python 3.6 you should download because I'm using uh, Python 3.6 if you don't have you can download from their official website after this you need to an ID I'm using PyCharm ID uh, but uh, it's not essential that uh, you use PyCharm but I like PyCharm and if you want you can download from JetBrain website and they have uh, two versions uh, professional and uh, community uh, the community version is completely free, free and also you need a web server for our virtual server uh, if you don't have you can download from the web server website okay after downloading these uh, es essential materials and installing them uh, now open your uh, favorite ID because I'm using uh, PyCharm and I have made a new project at the name of Python Flask Dots. Now I make a, a directory in here, name it Flask Application, Flask Crowd Application. like this okay uh, now in in here uh, I'm going to add uh, now I'm going to uh, write my first uh, code in flask uh, framework uh, let me introduce you flask uh, flask is a framework a Python framework for making a uh, nice and beautiful web application and complex websites uh, it's a small framework and uh, uh, you can download this to uh, CMD uh, pip install flask you can uh, install this uh, by this comment pip install flask uh, after installing flask uh, now I'm going to make a new Python file I call it app.py now the first thing you need you should import flask after installing import flask like this and uh, now we have imported flask uh, after this uh, uh, we are going to uh, create application instance in in instance uh, for this I'm going to write app and uh, you can like like this Mm, let me make it flask oh sorry uh, this is not this is from flask import flask okay now in here uh, underscore underscore name underscore underscore name uh, this is uh, because uh, a flask uses uh, uh, this argument this underscore underscore main to de determine the root path of the application uh, so that it later can find resource files uh, relative to the locations of this application okay uh, after this uh, now I'm going to write my uh, route and decorators uh, for this you can write at app uh, dot route and in here write your URL I'm going to give a backslash and write your method you can give uh, the name of method everything you want I'm going to give this index and index I'm going to return simply uh, hello flask application okay uh, now let me uh, explain this uh, Clients such as web browser send requests to the web ser uh, web servers, and uh, 
uh, these web servers uh, turn uh, which in turn uh, send them to the flask application instance to the this app uh, the application instance needs to know what code needs to run for each URL requested so it keeps a mapping of URLs to Python functions uh, the association between a URL and the function that handles it's called a route and uh, Flask application and uh, the most convenient way to define a route uh, you can simply write by uh, by app dot route uh, and in here you can uh, write your URL or page you want to access and uh, this app dot route uh, decorator exposed by application instance of app uh, that register decorated function as a route okay. Uh, after this, now we have made our route in here. You need to uh, run your server. For running your server, uh, you can simply write f underscore name underscore name underscore underscore main and app dot run uh, and debug to true. Uh, when you are going to uh, develop a web application uh, in Flask you can give the debug to true because uh, it's so useful uh, for uh, if you make a mistake or it can tell you uh, correctly uh, when you have completed your web app application and you want to publish that uh, you can uh, remove this debug true now this is our uh, Flask application, uh, simple Flask. Uh, let me run this. Yeah, you can see restarting with st state debugger is active because we have give it to true, and this is the debugger pin. Now this is my uh, local host, and in this port this is running. Okay, let me click on this or open this. Uh, before this, I should uh, close. Mm, this like this. And let me terminate my that. Okay, now I'm going to run this again. Yeah, now I'm going to. Yeah, now you can see hello Flask application. Uh, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know and wait for the complete. Uh, completing of this project and for further videos don't forget subscription of my channel